This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Swilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A jury is set for the trial of George Wagner IV. Nine women and three men will decide if he is guilty of murder and if he should face the death penalty for his role in the deaths of eight people back in 2016. Today they are taking tours some of the different locations important to the case. Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies spend their Wednesday on the lookout for a driver who had a child and drove away yesterday evening. It happened around 8 o'clock last night near West Sharon Road and Waycross Road. Officials say a car was driving on Waycross when they hit a child in the crosswalk. The child was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Officers ask anyone with information to reach out. And anyone going out and about in Ohio today may see flags at half staff. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine issued the order yesterday to mark Overdose Awareness Day. It's a global event to raise awareness of drug overdoses, reduce the stigma of drug related deaths and acknowledge the grief felt by friends and family. Now it's time for a check of your forecast with Raven Richard. All right, so plenty of sunshine for today. Temperatures will actually be on the nice side. We're going to be just a couple of degrees below average for this time of the year, but this is very close. Plus, it's the last day of August 4th, so it's time to start transitioning a little bit. High of 82 here in Cincinnati. If you're heading out to the Reds game for this evening, should be a good one for you. Going to stay on the dry side. We are looking at chances of rain, though, to return to the tri-state by Saturday, Saturday into your Sunday and Monday. And yes, temperatures are going to warm up as well, looking at a high of 88 for your Saturday and then looking ahead to next week though temperature is starting to drop and we're looking drier.